Did you start? Hello everyone. My name is Matty and uh, we did the, this project with four people. Winan, Xiao Yu, Zaha, and that's it. Okay. These are the contents that I'm gonna go through them and I wish we I will not go run out of time. So first of all, introduction. What was the incentive of this project? The incentive was that can we use cars for detecting damages in the bridges? And the answer was, is that the researchers in CMU are working on that, that equipping uh, cars with some sensors that are collecting the vertical acceleration data to uh, understand the damage detection. So uh, as you see, there are three parts, sensors, cars, and also a bridge. So our experimental setup has three main parts. This is the model of the car. This is, that one is the bridge. And we have four sensors on the car and one sensor on the bridge. And we, we are getting the vertical acceleration data. But the, before I go on to the getting data, I have to go through the bridge vibration theory for moving low. If we imagine that it is the equation of motion for the bridge and it is the load, and also we know that we are getting the acceleration data, so we have this idea, okay? So if we solve this equation, we will see that our acceleration is in the form of the above equation. Unfortunately, <laughs> don't count this one as so much equation, okay? And uh, fortunately, the acceleration is in the form of u s v. So we did the s v d. That's the reason that we can use SVD. So we got, uh, after getting our data, we use SVD on them. And this is it. Although we had 930 features, but as you, as you see, the indexes for the just few of them is great. And the, around 50, uh, the indexes up to 50 of them is more than zero, and the other one is zero. So we just now selected the first one to reconstruct our data. In this, uh, in this slide, you see the red uh, graphs are for the original data, and the blue graphs are for the reconstructed data using just the first feature. You will see a very good consistency in the both. Uh, the, two are, the two above are for time domain, and the two bottom are for the frequency domain. You will see both consistency in frequency domain and time domain. And in frequency domain, it is a little better. But how about if we use two features? Here, we use two features. And uh, we had, uh, because we wanted to investigate different damage scenarios, we considered 31 cases. And each, you know, for each of them, we tested 30, uh, 30 times. So we have 31 labels. If I plot them in MATLAB with the, which the number of color is the label, we will see that, uh, um, so they, we should have a, a smooth change in the colors. That's uh, because our labels are different. So with, in other words, the less the mixture of the colors, the greater the accuracy. As you see in the time domain, we have more mixture of colors, but in the frequency, this one is for frequency domain. For the frequency domain, we have better, we have less mixture of colors. So in this case, it is also in frequency domain, it works better. But we use, after this, we use SVM using for the verification of our data. As I told you, we have 31 damage scenarios. We use SVM for classification of two adjacent damage scenarios. And uh, although in some cases the accuracy was around 50%, but in many cases the accuracy was 100%. And uh, since we had five sensors, now we have also five cases. The average the accuracy for different sensors is uh, uh, around 85 to 90%, which is pretty high. So jumping to conclusion, the solution to mathematical model of the vibration theory can be decomposed using SVD matches the feature selection process and the high accuracy in classification with SVM using features extracted from SVD validates our mathematical proof. Uh, 